Hey everybody, this is Jake, and today I'm going to show you how I made this custom key holder. So this is a project I've been wanting to make for a long time. I've been wanting to make a key holder that's similar to a Swiss Army knife, and make it out of wood. So I'm using a couple pieces of black walnut here, I thought that would look really nice, and just cutting these into about quarter inch strips. Next I'm just marking off what I think should be the width on this and then just cutting these two to size. These don't need to be exact because I'm going to be putting my template right on top of these and then I'll cut them down to size. So I'm just going to attach these two side pieces with some hot glue and that way I can cut out the shape I need and sand and do what I need and then be able to take them apart fairly easily. Next it's time to trim out just the corners here with the bandsaw and then be able to just to take off the rest with a little bit of sandpaper to kind of get that final shape around the outside. Now I forgot I had to cut out the little thumb notch here, so I had to put the template back on and then trim this out and then go ahead and just shape this with the file to get that radius. So after I got that radius how I wanted it, I just transferred that same shape over to the other side. So when I was assembling this together for the first time, I liked how the keys fit inside, but as I put it together, I noticed that the binding post way too close to the ends of the piece and I still had to radius that wood so that wasn't going to work out. So I decided that I was going to cut another two pieces, make them a little bit longer on the ends and keep the distance between the post and the middle the same. So I went and cut two new pieces. Next it was time to put a radius on both ends so I just sent paper over a sponge that helps radius those corners really nice and keep them consistent. So I just went over each piece, it didn't take very long. And the diameter of the house key was a little bit too small for the diameter of the binding post, so I decided to put a little bit of material away with my file. Next it was time for the car key. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to sand some of this off with some 120 grit hand sandpaper and that was taking way too long so I decided to get out the propane torch and just heat it up and it actually just took a little bit of heat with the putty knife and the plastic came off pretty easily and really clean. I was really surprised. After giving a little scrape I just had to cut a little bit of the top away and then I just took a screwdriver and pried it right off. It came off nice and clean. So now I just need to mark a hole on the key and tap it and drill it.
So let me talk about the parts I used to make this. I just needed a piece of walnut for this. Um, you also need to buy some binding posts. The ones I used were half an inch binding posts and these happen to be steel. At the big box store they only had aluminum at my local Home Depot. I did find these steel ones at my local Ace Hardware I believe or True Value. They may have these as well and I'm sure I have even looked on Amazon. If I do find them on Amazon I'll post a link there too uh, for these binding posts is what they're called. Uh, and they come in different sizes. This one was half inch. I think they come in five eighths, three quarters of an inch and one inch, one and a quarter. So that's what I used here. And I also used these neoprene washers. I got these from Home Depot to kind of fill those that space in between to make it fit a little bit better in here. Because technically the threaded part of the binding post is supposed to lock against the post part of the binding post and it's not it's just not fitting just right. So I probably will put a little bit of lock, little bit of Loctite on here just to keep the key because eventually this key will kind of work its way loose because it will actually start to turn the binding post and that's not so good. At the same time, I can't screw this all the way down. That would be too tight. So I do need to put a little Loctite on here and I think that will solve that problem of this coming loose. Uh, but other than that, uh, I call, I'm going to call this good. I like how it looks, I like how it feels in my hand, and uh, actually I like how it fits in my pocket too. It's not too bulky. Um, it's a, I don't know, it's about three quarters of an inch thick I would say, and just a little over an inch, inch wide. So it feels pretty good in the pocket. Uh, it works nice. Everything worked out fine for me for these keys as far as my car and that kind of thing. I had no problems with any of the keys fitting into where they needed to be. So, if you like this project, uh, love to hear your comments down below. If you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like. If you would change anything about this, tell me what you would change in those comments below. I always love to get your feedback down below in the comment section. If this is your first time on my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and like and share. We'll love the support. This is Jacob All Trades, and we'll see you next time.